On the mound for the Marlins tonight, it is Trevor Rogers, 16th start of the season, coming off a win against the Nationals. That was his first win since June 9th. The key for Trevor Rogers, establish that fastball, and as we've seen just in the one game last night, a lot of fastballs high in the zone the Angels hitters have been susceptible to. 0 2 pitch from Rogers on the way, a ground ball left side, backhanded by Rojas, plants and throws a strike to Cooper. 97, Raren back and getting the strikeout, Rogers. Two away. 3 2 pitch is in there for a called strike three. Two K's in the first inning for Trevor Rogers. And there he is. Shohei Otani hasn't allowed an earned run. They got to go back to June 9th, Gooby. Now he's throwing the ball so well, using all his pitches. Starting to use his splitter a little bit more lately. That means he's got a good feel for that. That is a devastating pitch. Same thing with a slider for Shohei Otani. On 1 1, a ground ball into the hole at shortstop. And he was right, backhands it, throws the first in the dirt, and Walsh can't scoop it. John Birdie's aboard with an infield single. A one pitch, Birdie not going as Wendell sends one down the right field line. That's going to get down and roll the wall. Birdie is on his way to third, and he will be held up there. Marlins have two on here in the first inning against Otani. This one hung up in the zone, and good adjustment by Joey Wendell. Watch the hands and the hips open up. Cooper last night, one for three. His one left the yard. Home run number six. Oh, one to Cooper is in the air to right. Going to be deep enough to score a run. Ward is back one step shy of the track, makes the catch. Birdie tags, he'll score. Wendell tags, he goes to third, and it's 1-0 Miami on Garrett Cooper's sack fly, his 38th run batted in. Got the swing and miss. And that nasty splitter. Wow. That's exactly what Shohei and the Angels needed right there. The 2-2. Driven towards center field, Mike Trout has it and raises the glove up and makes the catch. And only one run comes in, an unearned run. More traffic for Otani to deal with. Two on, one out here in the second. Here's the pitch, and this is popped up. Shallow right center going back, and on the turf is the second baseman. That's Stefanik, and he will make the catch. And here's the pitch. He swings at the first one, lifts it in the air. It's hit pretty well in the right field, but back on the warning track, making the catch on that. Taylor Ward, and that is how the inning will end. Two outs for Jonathan VR. Stassi at first base. That's going to get down. Stassi, good read, goes to third. So VR with the knock. Gives Trout a chance here. Man of scoring position. Good swing there, going back up towards that right field, right center field. Chance now for Mike Trout. First and third, two down. The one two to Trout is hit well, left center, way back. Sanchez onto the track, has room, and he makes the catch in front of Auto Nation Alley. Trout just missed it, and Trevor Rogers out of the inning, stranding a pair. It was Jesus Sanchez. He grounded out to short his first time up. So Shohei has two strikes on the batter and the next pitch, and that one there, he chases it and misses it, struck him out. Shohei starting to lock things in here, works ahead. This is a nasty little split. Might go fastball here. Oh, splitter again. Wow. It's another strikeout for Otani. That's five on the splitter, and he's starting to get completely locked in. Can he get a little help on the offensive side? 1-0 is the count. 1-0 Miami lead. We're in the fifth inning. That's driven towards left center. That one's hit well. Going across and making. Unable to make the slide. It catches Birdie. It gets down. Walsh is going to have to hold up at third. And that's going to be a double for Stassi. So with one out, runners at second and third. Looked like he got to that baseball on the slide. Jarred the baseball out of his glove. 2-2. Did it get him? Looked like he got him. Sure did. And with two strikes and a tough at bat, Tay Harrison will take that. And that's going to bring up Jonathan VR. The base is loaded. 2-1. VR tapper back to the pitcher. Rodgers comes home. They get one. Back to first. Not in time. VR beat it to keep the inning alive. Ball was hit softly back to the mound. And that was the end of the Marlins' chance of turning the old 1-2-3 double play. Two down now for Trout. Base is loaded. Here's the 1-2. And that one ends up hitting Trout. It got him somewhere around the leg, and that's going to force in a run. So the Angels have tied up the ball game. That was on a 1-2 pitch, and Rodgers hitting his second batter in the inning. Bases remain loaded. We're tied at one, but there's more out there to be had. Two outs here in the top of the fifth. 
And he does. Goes the other way, points towards the dugout. One run comes in. Another comes in. Angels take a 3-1 lead. Shohei Otani delivers. How oh, clutch is Shohei Otani, knowing how important that bat is for him and this team. Well, now it's Max Stassi walking the third, a double and a run scored in the fifth inning. Here's the next one from Pop, and that comes in, and that gets a piece of Stassi. So another angel batter hit. Got a pinch hitter now. Yep, Captain Caveman getting opportunity. Bouncing ball to Wendell, he's got it. Backhand flip to Mickey, that's one back to first, and they turn the double play. The sinker baller Pop gets out of the bind. That's a huge one to keep the Marlins in this ball game. Taylor Ward now, runner in scoring position. You see it with wrist, 432. Runner goes, throw down to third. VR in there. Montani follows him up with stolen bags there. Second and third. Oh, that's Taylor Ward getting it done. Runners in scoring position. Drives in one, four to one. Angels over the Marlins. Did a real nice job of tracking that break of ball down and lines it in the left field for an RBI single. That big add-on run. Nance is ready to go. Ward at first and Otani at third. Renifo up the middle, and that gets down. That's going to be an RBI knock. Otani scores. 5-1 Angels lead. And it gives Shelly Otani to get in that dugout and get a breather to sit back and get ready and refocus, take the mound in the bottom of the seventh for Shohei Otani. And the pitch count, extremely manageable. Only 77. 53 strikes of the 77 pitches thrown for Shohei. Dropped it in there, the curveball. Hey, you called it. And that's strikeout number nine for Otani. Under control and drops a curveball in for another strikeout, an 81 mile an hour curveball. 3 2, runner goes, Rojas takes, ball four inside. So after one walk all night, two in the seventh inning, and for the first time all season, Otani has issued three free passes in a start. You've got the tying man in the on deck circle in a 5 1 game, two on, two outs. But Fortes could make things interesting. This is where that gear goes to that next level. Batting average with runners in scoring position for Shohei this season with two outs, 077. The 0-2 swing and a miss and he got him. That's next level Shohei Otani when you have that guy in scoring position. The next level 0-2 punch out with a slider. 10 on the night. Jesus Sanchez 0 for 2 a strikeout, a ground ball to short and a walk in this game. They're going to shift against the lefty hitter. Ground ball, first base. Aguilar will score. Angels trade a run for it out, but now two-way ninth inning. Fly ball, popped up. The kid ends it, Mike Trout. Light up the halo. Shohei Otani, unparalleled success. I mean, we're talking immortals that he's going to be mentioned with with this five-star span. Just absolutely amazing. He continues to dominate.